everybody and welcome to this week's video with, Hello. <laughs> with all the craziness going on in the world we just wanted to take a moment first of all and say we hope everybody out there is safe and healthy and doing well and don't ever expect me to talk about this ever again and we hope you all haven't lost your sanity yet being cooped up this is crazy unlike anything we've ever seen um, but uh, this video and the next few that we have, they were all filmed before all of this craziness broke out. And hopefully we've got uh, some great content that you'll enjoy to keep you entertained over the next few weeks while we're all penned up inside our houses. And um, fingers crossed, by the time we get caught up with that, this whole thing will have passed and we'll be back to life as usual. Not if the government's got their way. Don't so. get me started on the government. <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime we are at an RV park in Georgia they uh, just locked down the whole state at midnight last night so we're not going anywhere which we weren't really going to anyways um, mm -hmm. we're hunkered down we're isolated we're social distancing and all is good so with that anything else yeah we wish y'all the best yeah and hope everything comes out okay with this like I said this will be the last time I, I mention it so stay well stay safe God be with everybody and get us through this and on with the show it's been a pleasure talking to me Space Coast today, which means we're at the Kennedy Space Center. And everywhere you go in this United States, beautiful country that is, but there's a line of people. He's so grumpy. Anyways, here we are at Kennedy Space Center. And I'm going to totally geek out on everybody today because this is right up my alley. I'm fascinated by space. Him, not so much, but I am. Geek, nerd. Can you see it? It's starting to come through. The nerd. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay, people. I'm going to go on a rant here. This is a government-run facility. Is it not? The NASA Space Center. Now, I worked for the government for 30-some-odd years. And each year, they got their spending money for the year. It's going to cost at least $40 a head to come in here and look around. The government sucks. They're getting money, and then they're getting money. And then they're still getting money on top of money. But yet they bitch because they're broke. I'm tired of them spending my money. And I can't bitch because I'm broke. They just say sucks to be you. big you can't even hardly see it behind me but this is a Saturn rocket this is what they use to launch the Apollo missions and it is massive Go ahead, lay down. <laughs> Wanna go for a ride? All the rest of these rockets. 
Here's where I thoroughly geek out on everybody. This complex behind us is the Space Shuttle Atlantis complex. They have the actual Space Shuttle Atlantis in there. Can't wait to see it! This is the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Not a mock-up, not a model, but the real deal. And this will go down as one of my favorite things ever. This is so cool. Saturn V complex, which we're standing right underneath the Saturn V. You can't even imagine how big these things are. This thing is huge. But I guess if you're gonna go to the moon, it's gotta be. And right behind us here is the lunar lander. And this whole complex, its whole purpose is to celebrate the Apollo missions, which of course you guys probably know the most famous of them with Jim Lovell and Apollo 13. I don't know. He might follow, not follow space, but he does know Tom Hanks. Oh, oh the, yeah. Houston, you, you, yeah. you have a problem? Yeah. yeah. Tom Hanks, I know, yeah. <laughs> Castaway. Hi, yeah. Hanks. So, I'm not traveling Forrest with Gump. that. Well, Castaway, Apollo 13. Oh, what was the one about Sully? He's not the guy to travel with. No. He crashes. Or, or at least don't let him fly. Right. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this is um, really cool. Well, if you're a geek like me, it's really cool.
these are the very consoles we sat at when men first took off to fly to the moon. The tragedy of Apollo 1 had put us a year and a half behind. We were making up for it in one big leap. You are now in the final minutes before the launch of Apollo 8, right here where it actually happened. Mankind is about to leave his planet behind and journey to another. It is one of those rare moments when history is not being made, destiny is being embraced. Every day you get to sit under a Saturn V rocket and have lunch. I'm having a ball. I'm totally geeking out. This has been a, a really fun day and I think the highlight for me was seeing the space shuttle Atlantis. So I remember following that, the space shuttle program and always wanted to go see a launch of it and never got to. So to be able to walk in there and stand right next to it was pretty spectacular. <clears throat> Bubba's not amused. He's being a good sport, though. <laughs> Meanwhile, me, I'm walking around looking at everything going, dang it, I should have been an astronaut. This is so cool. We did take the bus ride out. We saw the assembly building and the... Um, <clears throat> it looked like a building. Just a really, really, really big one. It was a really big building. Like, you might want to go downtown and see a big building. It looked just like a big flag on it. Oh, it had NASA on it. Mm -hmm. When we saw the launch, couple of launch pads, the two launch pads where they launched the entire space shuttle program from and went past uh, SpaceX's complex and they had one of their doors open. You can see a big rocket they were working on inside, so it's been fun. It's, it's been fun for me. It's been tolerable for him. <laughs> I do it for her. Like I show for her. No, I appreciate it because this has really been a fun day for me. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> so we're going to go finish roaming around this uh, Saturn V complex and try and find a bus back over to the main area. I thought we were already done roaming around this building. Oh, okay. We're not? I guess so. What more do you got to look at? It's a freaking rocket laying on its side. <laughs> Cut one, two, three, four pieces. <laughs> Five pieces, and it's probably 75 yards long. Oh, bigger than that, I think. Yeah. 100, 100 yards long? Uh, what did they say it was? I don't remember. That's big. On the bus ride over here, I didn't know if I was on a Gator tour or a NASA tour. Well, now you got to hand it to the guide because he was pointing out the wildlife. He said there's over 800 alligators that live on the property and they were out sunning themselves today so he was pointing them out for people to see that was interesting it was and then there was um there's a bald eagle nest and he said it weighs over 700 pounds yeah and it's like he said you could fit a king-size mattress down inside it well we saw one of the eagles and then we're not sure if it was another eagle or their chicks in the nest so that was neat too it was neat that nest was wow so, the size of a three bedroom house stuck up in a tree. If you're watching it, Amy Regala, you can tell your dad we've seen the big, gigantuous one. <laughs> and I didn't make it. Right? <laughs> you done? I'm done. All right, we're going to sign out. Hope Thanks for staying with us today. Thanks for staying with her today. Yes. Me, I'm not grumpy. It's just not my forte. I'm a happy camper, remember, like I said. And unlike what you've seen on camera, because all he's done is bitch and complain on camera, he was not like that all day. I At just all. want you I just At want y'all to know how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, whatever. Thanks for coming along, guys. We're gonna call it a day and um we'll see y'all on the next one. Right? Don't forget. Looks like I have a third thumb there, doesn't it?
<laughs> Thumbs up. And we'll see you again. Bye. Wow.